Welcome to this example Solid Mastermind training video for Solid Edge with Synchronous Technology. Solid Mastermind is the complete online resource for all of your Solid Edge training needs and support questions. In the following few minutes, you will see some very short examples of the Solid Edge Fundamentals training material. The complete series of training material is available to members of Solid Mastermind. This first preview is part of the second sketching session and shows how to use some of the parametric dimension tools. In this second fundamental sketching session, we will be learning about how to control a sketch or profile using dimensions and parametric constraints. First, we'll take a look at the dimension tools available within the profile and sketch environment. Dimensions are very important as they are used to both label and control the size, location and orientation of the 2D geometry we draw in our sketches. Dimensions also provide parametric control over the geometry, meaning their values can be changed at any time. They work hand in hand with the geometric constraints that we'll be learning about in a few minutes. To take a look at some of the dimension commands, we'll open up example one, and then edit the profile of the sketch that it contains by right clicking on the sketch and choosing edit profile. All the dimension tools can be found in the dimension group on the home ribbon. The smart dimension command is a very versatile tool and will dimension single or multiple elements. When the command is selected, the command bar appears with all the relevant options. We'll start by simply dimensioning a line, an arc and a circle. This is done by simply selecting the element and placing the dimension with another click of the mouse. Lines will create linear dimensions arcs will create radial dimensions and circles will create a diameter dimension. Picking an angled line and holding shift will also create a horizontal or vertical dimension depending on the position of the mouse. If required we can override the defaults by using the options that appear in the command bar. For instance when selecting an arc we can choose to display the dimension as a diameter, a length, or an included angle. The Smart Dimension command will also cope with multiple elements. If we select this first line, instead of placing the dimension down, we can just select another element to create a distance between dimension. The mouse can then be moved into the appropriate location to infer either a horizontal or vertical dimension. Holding down the shift key at this point will also create an aligned dimension. We'll repeat the same process on some other areas of this sketch. Also when selecting two separate lines, the smart dimension command can retrieve the angle, either by selecting the option in the command bar or hitting the A key on the keyboard. The distance between command will create dimensions between two elements in a sketch. Once again, options for the dimension appear within the command bar. With a distance between dimension, it is possible to choose the orientation of the dimension. It can be horizontal or vertical, by two points, or it can use a specific defined dimension axis. Let's see the effect of some of these settings on this area of the sketch. 